Hello there. Well, thanks very much uh, for taking the time to listen to Bob uh, the other day, and uh, more importantly, to find out more about LinkedIn. Um, I've been working with Bob and Social Content Group for a while, and I've had a lot of success with LinkedIn, uh, both as a free member initially and as a paid member. Uh, the purpose of the video today will be really to go over some tips and tricks uh, in terms of um, things that you can use right now to get ROI. So let me log in here and let me go over a few things that uh, not a lot of people know about LinkedIn, but more importantly, things you can use right now to start making some money in your business. Let me just log in here. All right, well, first of all, as a paid member, you have access to a number of things that you wouldn't get as a free member. One of those things that uh, a lot of people don't know about LinkedIn is they do have some more advanced tools. Uh, first of all, um, you have tools called uh, you know, really InMail is one of the most significant ones. So let me talk a little bit about InMail. So first of all, I'm going to look on LinkedIn here. I'm going to notice that people obviously haven't looked at my profile. So I'm going to show you an example of how I would use InMail. So for example, I've got a bunch of people looking at my profile, some of which who are part of my network, as you can see, number one, are not part of my network, number two. So I've already sent an, a message to John, but I do this every day. Here's another one. Uh, this one just looked at my profile. So first of all, I want to take a look at his profile. And then I have a couple options. Number one, send him just a regular connection request, which is kind of like a cold request or a cold call. I can send him uh, a request through a shared connection, or I can do the thing that I like to do a lot, which is InMail. Now what InMail gives me the ability to do is send officially uh, um, really a registered letter to him. So I'm gonna go ahead and put in expertise request. I'm gonna put here, thank you for taking a look. And what I'm gonna do is a standard message. Hello, Chad. Thank you for taking closer look at my profile. I appreciate it. I have taken a look at yours and would love to be part of your network. Now, what you also notice on the right side here is there's a bunch of information in reference to uh, common connections. If there's a common connection, that helps as well. So I'd also put, I also noticed we have the following common connections on LinkedIn. And then basically I cut here and I paste it here. Now I just put my name in. Now the difference between this and a regular request is that what you'll see here is you've sent one message. It's like a register letter. He's got to accept or deny, but more importantly, um, it's really a warm connection because I'm asking for permission and more importantly, I'm saying, listen, I'd love to be part of your network. So it's kind of flattering at the same time. In addition, he now knows that I'm very astute on LinkedIn. Other areas you can use. Well, first of all, groups is a good area. Uh, you can look at your groups. I can target people throughout here. I obviously have a lot of you know different groups. Uh, link, top LinkedIn is a good one if you want to obviously uh, do well with that. Uh, here are people that are on LinkedIn who are superstars on LinkedIn, so it's a great group if you want to be network with the top. Open network is something you'll see in people's uh, profile that's a great way to meet people. For example, I don't know this lady, but let's see who she is. Oh, there she is. More importantly, you want to be doing this every day. And you can look in this site. Judith is a top influencer. I don't know this lady, but obviously I need to. So what I would do here, very similar, is I'd take a look at it. I'd send her an in-mail. I'd say, I would love to. Taken a look at your profile, and we are both of the top linked group. And I would love to be part of your network. I'm assuming it was 
mistake there. Please advise and have a great day. Obviously, I always want to put email. That way they can easily reach out to me and send it. Now, obviously, you can target as a paid member a certain amount of these a month. I believe I'm at the level now where I have 25. I pay about $100 a month. My next move is obviously to go up to the $500 a month level where I get more. Uh, there's a lot of other ways you can use InMail, but it's a great way to really reach out to people, um, have them have a positive, uh, basically, experience there, and more importantly, join your network. Because it isn't about the people you add, it's about who they know. For example, Judith uh, Miller here is obviously the person who hosts this group, and obviously I'd want to be part of her network. Now I have a number of common connections already, and again, I would love to. And then here, hello Judith, I would love to be part of your network. And I would put here, great job with your group. I love it. Honey gets, honey obviously is gonna get people more interested than uh, vinegar. Um, I also noticed we have a number of common connections, including, and then here's a few. Please advise and have a great day. Now obviously networking with people that you know have a lot of connections helps you because it's not so much that person, it's who they know. And that's one of the other biggest problems people have in LinkedIn. For example, when I look at that, I hear a lot of common connections, but more importantly, when I go back to my page, what you'll notice is I have 11 people to my profile, 36 in the search results, but I have over 17 million connections there and also that many has joined my network uh, over the last day. Uh, the other area that you really wanna be looking at is answers and questions. Now, if you want people to find you, the great way to do that is obviously put together a great profile, which is obviously a lot more than a resume, but the other best way to do that is to answer questions. Obviously, if I go through here and I answer a question, not only am I gonna show up as a person who answered the question, I'm gonna get a lot of people looking for me based on the quality of the question. And over time, what I'll get is I'll be on the list here of the top people. So that's a great way to really just get people looking at your profile. Now, if you don't wanna answer specific general questions, you can go by, by area. Another area that a lot of people don't really get involved in too much is the search tools. But I'm gonna go through contacts first. One of the great things about LinkedIn, what makes it really powerful for me, is I can export all my connections. So I can just put those into any kind of email marketing program and they're really a double opt-in connection because I already know those people. So that's one way you can use your connections. The other thing you can do is obviously hit search. Now as a paid member, you obviously have um, you know better terms. So for example, if I'm looking at social media in Canada, I'm gonna get a search there and I'm gonna look at you know, who's on top. Now, obviously I'm on page one because I've really thought about my profile, but I can even look by industry. I can look by, uh, you know, Canada only. I can look by Vancouver only. As you can see, it's gonna take a sec. But the big advantage to search tools on LinkedIn is these are gonna show up on Google. There's a recent partnership announced with Google but more importantly, uh, this gives you the ability to really put together a prospect list. Just a little slow today here, there we go. So if I was then to search just for Canada, it's gonna reduce that. So obviously there's fewer. For some reason I don't show up on the first page, interesting. That doesn't matter because most people just search for social media. But if you want to show up specifically for social media, you want to be the top guy, there's a couple ways to do that. There's called what's called gaming your profile, which this guy's obviously done. You can see a, a, a big SEO thing here. Uh, there's also things you can use in terms of how you write your profile. But the best way to look at it is to look at the best person who has a legitimate profile, someone who isn't gaming their profile, but has a legitimate profile 
And that way you can see, you know, obviously how that happens. Uh, the other thing that's really great with LinkedIn is you can do a lot of other things with your profile. So let's go over that briefly. And then I'm going to go into a little bit more detail on search. So with profile, obviously you want to put it in, uh, fill up all the text. You can link obviously to your blog and you can also link using SlideShare to SlideShare presentations, which are PowerPoint or other. And with SlideShare Pro, you can obviously get into uh, more than that in terms of video and stuff. So to give you a sense of how that works, now, SlideShare was bought by LinkedIn recently, but uh, with your slide space, you actually have the ability not only to look at, um, you know, the videos and other things that you put up, uh, but you also have analytics. So for example, your slide space, and I'm gonna go to app settings, because I'm a pro member, and I'm gonna go into LinkedIn dashboard, being a pro member, and I'm gonna log in here. And I'll show you a little bit more about what Pro can do for you. I just uh, have been a Pro member for a while, but I started recently taking advantage of it more and more. And the reason is, first of all, upload. You can upload plus. What does that mean? That gives you the ability to do up to half a gigabyte. What you can also do, you have your own feed, obviously. Uh, you have account settings. So you can do different things with privacy and defaults. Uh, you have analytics, you can look at who's looked at your videos, you can set up campaigns, you can capture leads, you can conduct meetings, uh, you can you can get into sort of a dashboard for that. You can look at, you know, what the response has been to your different things, you can select upgrades and widgets, capture leads allows you to turn them into basically a landing page. So for example, this one allows you to basically turn into a landing page. It's a great way to capture leads. Analytics gives you a sense of who's viewing what, and you can look at, you know, does that uh, make sense? But more importantly, where are they looking at it from? So it's a really good tool there. Let's go back a little bit to search tools. So let's say, for example, you were in the area where you wanted to search for potential customers. So I'm gonna go back to LinkedIn. And the best way to do that with LinkedIn is to look at, first of all, search. So let's say, for example, I was looking at people. Uh, I want to find people. As a programmer, I can save searches. I want to find people in the oil business. I want to look at all companies. I want to look at all LinkedIn in Canada. All LinkedIn members, I want to look in industry, obviously oil and energy. As a pro member, I can look at uh, groups, years of experience, let's say three to five. I can look at seniority level, say that's uh, director or VP. I can look at company size, so let's say that's 500 plus. So basically that allows me to narrow down really to a very small group of people. Now, if I'm in the 200 to 500, that's gonna widen the room. So basically I can get anywhere from a list very, everywhere of 20 results to all companies. That's gonna give me a list of 164. So that's a hit list really. And as you can see, I'm pretty closely connected to these individuals. So this gives you the ability to really target people, more importantly, start the conversation. Combination of all these tools will get you, obviously, business, and more importantly, the decision makers you need to talk to. Now, as a paid member, what do you get? A lot more features. If you want to figure out what that is, obviously, you can go into settings. You can go into upgrade, for example, for me. Right now, I'm in the pro level, which gives me a 1,000 people when I search. Um, obviously, direct in-mail, which is 50 per month. Uh, if I went to pro versus 25 where I am now, uh, zero profiles with search filters, there's eight. Uh, in addition, you get a bunch of other things, 50 outstanding uh, companies you're targeting. Uh, I have 35, 10 per day and automated you search, 50 folder, 75. There also are options specifically for headhunters and other things if you contact LinkedIn sales team directly. If you wanted that kind of sophisticated solution for a company, or as an HR firm, let me know, I can go over that for you. Thanks for watching the video. Hopefully you got a lot of value. And again, remember that LinkedIn needs to become a daily activity and needs to become an area that you spend more time on because it will 
deliver returns. This has been another cut with Social Content Group. Have a great day. Bye for now.